my friends, they might ask me sometimes, be like, hey, Kenny, don't you work at that garden? You know, we all live around the neighborhood. I don't know anything about this. I'm going to be looking crazy trying to, like, garden. Like, I had no experience. I'm like, yeah, but we do more than just that. And that we have this program called The Growing Entrepreneurs. I did a sofrito business. It's local, it's organic, it's fresh. You know, their parents or their friends can go and eat food that they grew at a, you know, popular restaurant. We partner with Union League, Christopher Martins, Juice Spots. We build, we do carpentry. It's just kind of nice, like they took us on and they like taught us how to do all these things. And see them like the progression and seeing them grow is like important to me. Hi, my name is Brianna. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rasha. I'm also a growing entrepreneur with the New Haven Land Trust. It's interesting. We originally started a summer youth program just to get kids outdoors, high school kids outdoors, and building character skills. And we found through that experience both that there was a lot of interest from young people to do this type of work, but also that we needed much more for the program. We're talking about what the next steps are for everybody's business venture. And then we decided that we wanted the students to have more ownership over what they were doing. I need help with my business, Hakuna Panaga. As opposed to just doing things for the land trust, we wanted them to have projects of their own. So all these vegetables that we're harvesting right now are going to the farmer's market on Front Street. The Hus cherries are $5 a pound, and then the peppers are $2 a pound. So we harvested Padron peppers and French breakfast radishes and we are delivering that to Union League. We communicate with them like when we could do the delivery. And so we have this, we have these cute little bikes with like the trailer, and it's so cute. That's perfect guys, thank you for today. The raised garden bed business. We would build raised beds to like homeowners. I knew about the growing entrepreneurs. So they put the bed in for us, and not only did they put the bed in, but they filled it with soil. That was really great. And that's how you get muscle. <laughs> what helped me gain confidence was like learning through other people. Carlos was the one who taught us about carpentry. But it was definitely a great move for us to get you guys in here to build that for us. Thank you. It was truly, truly an honor working with you guys. I'm just glad we got it done. Yeah. It, it, it looks good now. My favorite part of this program is the entrepreneur part. Um, I decided to do the sofrito just because if you get it at the store, it's just, it doesn't taste good or smell good at all. And also um, all the ingredients that I use are fresh, local, and organic. You actually we know where it comes from. We also did like a pesto, like a kale pesto one. I mean, we gain knowledge through like experiences. Agriculture and carpentry training, environmental education, the entrepreneurial curriculum, and then we also wanted to incorporate more training that could help out with any future job or secondary education. New Haven Land Trust is not your typical land trust. That the real way to impact, particularly on the environmental front, is to work with young people. They're not just selling arugula or these beautiful organically grown fresh carrots. They're selling the story of New Haven kids growing food, starting their own business with the opportunities to learn about the land, about growing food, about environmental issues. We're all friends here. We're kind of like this like family bond. You're not just gonna be gardening. You're not just gonna be doing carpentry. So you'll have a lot of different skills and you'll pick up a lot of them and you're just gonna keep growing because of it. So that like, changes you kind of like your ways of thinking stuff. If we're really going to move the dial on a lot of these issues, we have to invest in and change the minds of young people and their relationship with the environment.